today I will show you uh, some typical testing of foundation and major and you will understand what is payload test, uh, conversion loading test, and uh, sonic echo test, something like this. I will go into a little bit details for some typical ones you see, for example, the payload test and the compression loading test and core drilling test. The first one, you, you, you may already see some of the soil, they check the cap bending capacity. They will use some uh, loading put on the top and to make sure the bending is good enough. The principle is very simple. As long as you apply the load to this local area, if they have a very large settlement, that means the bank capacity is not good enough. If the soil is very stiff, very stiff you can imagine the, the ground will not have substantial settlement. And you can see the down gauge is uh, measure the reading. You can imagine if the reading is very small, it means the soil is good enough to take the loading in future. And I show you another uh, types of uh, testing. This is so-called uh, uh, SPT. It's uh, something like a hammer. We just drop a uh, certain depth. You can imagine if this is a very, uh, very stiff soil. This means if it means you need to drop many times in order to go further. That means the reading is much more larger. That means if the more drop, we need to go to the certain step certain length and this is a very stiff soil and I think this is a most likely you will see nowadays is a so-called a compression loading test actually they just put the uh, capacity of the loading maybe two times or three times up to the requirements and then they just put all the loading to the piles and then the same principle applied you will check all the down gauge readings and make sure the reading will not be exceed the value. If this exceeds the value of allowable, that means the power is not good enough. And you can see the principle is more or less like the payload test. The payload test is directly based on the soil. This one is directly put on the piles and this is the jet to put up the loading to a certain amount of your testing load and then you check the down gauge readings. If the reading is very small, it is good. But if the reading is very large, it means the soil or the power is not good enough and then you need to retest or investigate what is happening of your power. Another thing is a very typical core drilling test. This is a, sometimes you can see the interface of the so-called large diameter pole power. This is a existing mod, this is due to the grouting. And you can see the interface between is very good. That means the construction mirrors above is very good and the quality is satisfactory. If you find the gap is very large between this one, that means there's uh, some problems between the interface. You can imagine the loading cannot be go directly if there's a gap or space between this one. That's why calling drilling test is used to test the power whether they have a good interface between the wall and the pulse. And then another one is a so-called sonic test. And this one is make sure there's a low defect. You can imagine this is a large diameter ball pulse. This is a diameter of ball pulse. And they, doing the concreting, they may have uh, some defect. That means this testing can ensure there's no defect. The principle is very easy and they just have uh, a transducer and the receiver they just put send some signal from the left to the right if there's a defect the signal should be have a little bit different if there's a perfect in condition it means they will the re they will receive the constant reading another thing is a so-called sonic echo test there's a put some signal on the top and then they will refine it you also can imagine if this is a perfect assume there's no more in here, the, the uh, reflection or the sound value, the receiver, the signal will be much like a straight line. If there's a many uneven signal received, that means there's a maybe some more or some defect in here. And then this is a so-called, uh, for the different nature power, sometimes we want to check the capacity, we will use the so-called D 
PTA testing. They can check the integrity, capacity, and make sure the power is good enough. The principle is very simple. Right? They just take out the loading and put the reading, and they, they drop the hammer to the same principle. Due to the dropping the hammer, the energy will be transferred from the top to the bottom level, and the receiver will receive the signal, and then based on the rebound, they can read uh, the capacity of the powers due to the energy principle, principle of energy conservation principle, and then they can find out the reading, and this is uh, so called uh, one of the sample. They can up to the 300 tons, and then this is so called the tension test, and also more similar to the, the compression test, but this time we check the tension. Sometimes the parts may take the tension for still to the water uplift. And this is a lateral low test. Sometimes we want to check whether there's a uh, significant movement of the lateral force due to the uh, due to the lateral force to the parts, and we ca carry out the lateral low test. And this is a so-called typical construction sequence, and this is a so-called another testing to check the bell out of, of the ball power and check the diameter of the ball powers. And this testing can ensure that the bell out will do the same dimension we decide. Okay, thank you.